What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? This is going to be your retro review for Noah's Ark Season 2, Episode 1. So, Season 1 is in the books. If you haven't caught my reviews, go back, check the playlist. It's there. Um, we also know that today, well, if you haven't already caught it, it's the 15-year anniversary. So, go to Patrick Ian Pope. Um, YouTube page and go check out what the stuff that they have. So they have some tributes and some things posted there. Um, so we start off, it's six months later. It's six months after Chance's wedding and they've moved into a new house. Him and Eddie, poor Kenya won't get out the bed, knocking Chance all in the face and everything else. Um, Noah actually ended up, him and Wade did not get back together, but he actually ended up with the dude from the hookup party. Um, forget his name. It don't matter. He ain't going to be around long. Then we have Ricky, who is back to his old horse ways, and he's in the middle of a foursome. And um, Alex is waiting for Trey to come home. Trey's on his way home after being in Africa for six months. So this is where we we pick up with the guys. Um, and Noah is trying to figure out if this is if this is real. Like he's you know he's with this new guy and he's just trying to figure out is is this gonna is he the one? Like he's perfect. He's a great guy. Um, and he's on the phone with the guys doing what they normally do. You know they having that whole conversation. And Alex says kiss him. He said, kiss him. He said, if the earth moves, he's the one. But, you know, you'll know. And so that's what he does. He gets off the phone with the guys, climbs into bed, and, you know, and that's when we have the big reveal and we realize that he ain't talking about Wade. He's talking about the new man. And he goes to kiss him, and the, mer the earth does move because it's an earthquake. <laughs> and we find out that in the interim, Noah's apartment ends up getting condemned. Like, it's, it's so much structural damage that he actually has to move out of his apartment. And he says, you know, I've actually been making some pretty decent money, and I'm kind of in a position to look for something a little bit more permanent. Um, but in the meantime, his new boo has been like, look, come on, move in. Stay as long as you want. Don't worry about it. And, you know, Noah was like, I'm not sure about this because this was sort of the kiss of death for me and Wade's relationship when we got to that point of him staying with me temporarily turned into something that he wanted to do more permanently turned into a whole problem. And, you know, the guys are like, listen, it is not that serious. It's not that deep right now. You homeless. So this man has, you know, off, opened his, his, his home up to you with open arms with no questions, no, you know, no anything. And, you know, he even started helping Noah find some places. So he ain't even trying to, you know, trick him into staying longer. But he's like, listen, I'm going to enjoy you while you're here. And if you choose to stay, it's cool. Noah actually ends up breaking one of his mugs. And I'm sure Noah had a flashback of Wade breaking his mug. But you know what old boy did? Old boy was like, it's cool. I ain't even tripping off of that. He said, matter of fact, let's break some more dishes. And he starts throwing dishes on the floor. And Noah's like, okay, I get it. I got it. It's cool. Um, and it was almost like he was too perfect. And I, you know, I almost hate to say that because I think sometimes when someone is, I mean, for lack of a better word, perfect, it's almost like we're waiting for something to be wrong. It's like, it can't be this easy. It can't be this good. He can't be this perfect. And I sort of think that's what it is with Noah. Noah is like, you know, I mean, I, I mean, part of it is, I, you know, without admitting it, he's still hung up on Wade, but I think even if there were no Wade, I think he still will be trying to figure out is this the perfect situation or not, you know? Um, Ricky is looking for some help, um, some somebody to help him fix up his apartment because he had a little bit of damage, but nothing major. And Ch uh, Chase Chance, excuse me, talks him into um, picking one of the guys, you know, they're picking up some of the guys, you know, some of the guys that hang out outside of the Home Depot or whatever that, you know, like, listen, we got some, you know, get pick up some work. And so he talks him into 
picking a guy that's a little bit older, that's not as sexy. Ricky come home and he is is hooking up with the with the housekeeper. And Ricky was like, I'm really disappointed in you. Like he been here all day and he ain't getting no work done. Like I don't even think Ricky would have been mad about finding them, you know, getting it in if when he got there the work had been done. You know what I'm saying? So then over to Alex's house. Alex is waiting for Trey to get there. And Trey shows up. And I think Trey showed up. And he not. Like, you don't have your key? You ain't take your key with you to Africa? But he shows up. And Alex opens the door in a cowboy outfit half naked. And he opens the door. And who is standing behind Trey? Yeah. Come to find out, guy girlfriend and broke up with him while he was in Africa, honey, and put all his stuff in storage. So, of course, Trey was like, well, you know, guy can stay with us. You know, is that cool? And Alex has to say yes, because part of the conversations that him and guy had while he was over in Africa was, you know, I'm over the whole jealousy thing. I know it was just a mistake. I was doing too much. Of course, he's got to say. So now it's sort of like it's the proof is in the pudding. Like, you have to really show me that you really mean that you over it and that you know that this isn't true and this isn't real and this isn't really what it was or what we thought it was. And, um, but Alex ain't feeling it. Alex ain't feeling it. He still knows or feels that God want his man. There's a surprise party that, you know, um, Alex is, is set up for, um, Trey. And of course, Trey is going to be late to his own party because he's too busy um, he's too busy, um, helping guy get his stuff out of storage, but Alex is tripping and the guys are trying to talk him off the ledge and everything. Um, Chase, uh, Chance got a bandaid on his nose from where Kenyon and, you know, been kicking him in the middle of the night in the bed. And, you know, he says, this, he tells Eddie, listen, we need to talk about this. Like we, Kenya really needs to be in her own bed. And Eddie was like, listen, we just moved and I'm not comfortable making her sleep in her own bed until she's comfortable. Like it's a new environment, you know, and I don't want her to, um, I don't want her to feel no kind of way about it. And so, um, excuse me. And so, um, you know, of course, Ch uh, Chase don't like that. He don't like that at all. Now we see Noah and, and um, you know, his boyfriend, you know, they all in the, you know, they, they all bundled up in the club, all lovey-dovey. Noah has decided he is the one. He said, I'm going to stop questioning. I'm going to stop worrying about it. I'm going to stop overthinking it. I love him. He loves me. He's a great guy. He treats me good. It is what it is. Oh, I'm sorry. And Ricky ends up seeing the guy that he wanted to hook up with to begin with. That was down to the Home Depot. And so y'all know what Ricky do. Ricky do what he do, honey. Ricky gonna flirt with the dude and end up taking him home. But before we get to that, Ricky actually, they're actually having a conversation um, about everything going on with Alex and how Alex is really, you know, really thinks guys out for his man, but he gotta play his position. And um, they're talking about Noah and his new situation. You know they doing what they do. And the bartender actually overhears their conversation. And he was like, well, can I put my two cents in? So the bartender is like, do y'all mind if I put my little two cents? Because they're talking about rebound relationships and how, you know, the rebound relationship isn't supposed to be the one. And that, you know, Noah needs to be careful. So he, the bartender was like, you know, if y'all don't mind. And they were like, you know, sure, you know. And they said, well, you know, when I met my man, he was getting over a really bad relationship. I mean, this bitch, you know, worked him over in the worst way. And, you know, but now, you know, he got over it. And we are, you know, we're thicker than ever. You know, that I, um, that was a rebound thing. And we worked it out. And Ricky was like, really? He was like, so how did he feel about, how does he feel about you, you know, working topless at the bar, you know, slinging drinks or whatever. And he was like, well, I don't know. Why don't you ask him yourself? Here he comes now. Y'all know they turned around. Y'all know it was Wade, right? And, of course, instead of Wade having an attitude of being nasty, like, he is smiling and grinning, and he's like Noah. And, of course, Noah is smiling and grinning, looking back at him. And just at that moment, here come Malik. Malik is the new boyfriend. Here come Malik. Malik done walked up like, oh, shit. So, Wade and Noah end up having this really extended, awkward conversation. The guys are all over to the side. 
Wade's new boyfriend is fuming. He's looking. He ain't saying nothing. He's filming. Malik done walked off, but, you know, Malik is feeling a little insecure, but he's trying to act like he ain't insecure. And Alice was like, it's obvious, though. Like, it is obvious that they still have feelings for each other. And that night, I mean, you know, they end up, you know, they basically end up talking. Nothing major. You know, I'm happy. You happy. Oh, okay. Good. Glad to hear. Okay. Good. Glad to hear. Good to see you. You look good. You look good. You know, that whole thing. So later on that night, Malik actually tries to celebrate their six-month anniversary with Noah. And Noah actually ends up breaking up with Malik. And Malik was just like, like, really? Like, you really breaking up with me? And so they were up on, like, a little overlook on Mulholland Drive or whatever. And he actually tries to take Noah home. And Noah was like, nah, I'd rather walk. And then, of course, as he's walking home, who he run into? Wade in his new boot. And, of course, they offered to give him a ride home. He was like, nah, I'm good. I'd rather walk. And next thing you know, you know, last thing we see is Noah walking off crying, honey. I said, poor Noah. Poor, poor Noah. Because he was good. He was good. Ricky ended up taking a dude home that was going to work on his wall. And when they get there, you know, they about to get it in. And the dude sees the plaques on the wall. He was like, listen, I can take care of this. This ain't going to take me long. And he actually starts working on <laughs> Ricky's wall. And you know what? Ricky let him. Then um, Chance and um, Chase. Chase, I'm sorry, y'all. Chase, I, I, I told y'all I'm reviewing another show where the main character's name is Chance. And so I keep getting Chase and Chance um, mixed up. But, um, Chance, um, um, actually ends up switching sides with Eddie. And so instead of him getting beat up in the face, he, um, uh, Eddie ends up getting beat up in the face by Kenya. And miraculously, it's time for Kenya to get in her own bed. Hmm. Last but not least, Alex comes home. Guys sleep on his couch, honey. Because um, cause Trey ended up texting him at the party and was like, listen, I'm too tired to party. I've been on my flight all day. I've been carrying, you know, guy stuff out the storage. I just, I'm, you know, I'm tired. Alex comes home to try to get him a little piece, honey. And Trey is like, listen, I, listen, I'll see you in the morning. And, but Alex does end up, you know, when he slides into bed, Trey does end up rolling over and cuddling with him. So it kind of gives you that, Okay, there's some hope there. But at the end of the day, listen, I done made that African flight. Look, it, it, you, your body does sort of shut down. Anyway, I'm, why am I, why am I going to make logic out of this? We know what's up. Anyway, I'll be back for episode two, season two. Let's talk about it.